I finally had a chance to go out and test uh, the load I was developing for the Carcanos. As you all know, um, Hornaday stopped making their 160 grain bullet with a larger diameter for uh, the Carcanos. So the only 268 diameter bullet you're going to get is the new one PPU has out. Uh, it's 139 grains. Okay, and it's more of a spire point than the old torpedo bullet. Um, <clears throat> you can still find, as a matter of fact, somebody has some up on the gun broker, the old Hornaday bullet. I think four boxes sealed. Uh, I'll see what they go for, but they were expensive. They weren't inexpensive when they were available. So a lot of people have asked me questions. I finally got out to check out the load I developed. I've been working on for the past couple weeks. Now, one important thing. If you have any questions or whatever about any of my videos, no matter what it is, do not leave a request or ask for information in the comment box. I have over 1,000 videos. I do not read each and every single comment. Okay, and if you put a comment in a video that I have made weeks, months, years ago, chances are I may not see it. In the description box of this video is my email address. Email me with any questions that you have. Many of you have, and that's another thing. I'm getting a ton of emails about a lot of different things, okay? So be patient. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can, all right? So what we did today is we did two things. A, we tested my new loadout to see how it works, you know, other than just chronograph running. Uh, I actually made up a batch of ammo and tried it out in three different rifles. Also, I tested the single shot block out today. This thing kind of works fine. I had a little trouble at the beginning of the range part of the video getting it down in there, but that's because my hand was acting up today. Uh, I had a little difficulty loading clips later on. But. So what we did is the first gun up, I took the M9141. And the reason why is this one shot in the testing, that big long testing series, this one shot the best or fairly well. This is very accurate and the sights are set at 100 meters. Uh, so I use this one for initial test and get a grouping of the uh, ammo. I zeroed it in, you know, just kept the same sight picture just to see what the group was. Because I know this gun uh, shoots well. But the, the problem is I don't believe <coughs> some rifles like it's fire point bullet. It didn't do as well as with the torpedo bullet. Then the next gun up, I did some with the best shooting gun, supposedly, from the other tests. I took this uh, 91 TS that I got from uh, DK Firearms. Now this is the one that I got from DK in this batch with a worn out bore that shot terribly. Okay. So I took a gun I knew shot well in the testing, and I took a rifle that I know would not shoot well at all, okay, to see the reaction to the ammunition. And not only did I run my new PPU ammo, I also ran the cast bullet load with a way oversized, a 270, 271 bullet to show you performance, okay, to be honest with you. So that way, you know, if you're interested in this ammo or try this ammo and it doesn't shoot well, um, you know, you know, you're seeing results. And then <clears throat> the third rifle I took out was uh, M91-24. Now, there's a lot of controversy about these guns. And the reason I'm making this is because I got up late and they were shooting, so I don't know, in the range session I try to talk, but you may be drowned out by somebody shooting a pistol or something on a range over. There's a lot of questions about the M9124. I had a very bad example, and I thought because of the barrel being shortened, 
that this created the inaccuracy problem. And like a lot of people argue, why would the Italians convert like a quarter million of these and have a gun that wasn't shootable? Uh, watch the video, see the performance on this rifle and how it shoots, and speak for yourself. But I will stand corrected. Um, this gun shoots well, even though it's been shortened. There's some confusion about how they shorten the barrel, and there's several different variations, and there's not a lot of tangible material that you can read that somebody has actually went to Italy and did the research. It may have been lost or destroyed or forgotten. That's why there is no real good reference, just referrals of how this is done, and I've heard all kinds of things. But we took one of these out to shoot because it's a gun everyone's talking about. So, now we'll go on to the range session. I don't want to make this too long, but check it out and see for yourself how things are working out.